I'm DJ Shares. And I'm Jeremy. And this is the Robot Program. And in today's episode, we're excited to show you the new servos that we've been working on and we just released on April 1st, 2017. These are the HDD servos. They stand for Heavy Duty Digital. Is that right? That's right. And Jeremy's our lead engineer here at AZ Robot, and he's the one who's actually designed and implemented these new servos into the Easy Robots. You bet. We've been working long and hard on them. Yeah, so two years, is that right? It is. That's right. Okay, so in this JD here, we have the new servos. All right, so let's give a quick demo of that. We have the mobile app connected. We'll just make them walk forward a little bit here. We can hear those servos. They sound fantastic. We'll walk backwards. Very quiet. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll get him to do his famous headstand. I love watching this. <laughs> it's awesome. Can you do that? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, JD. Now, this is something we don't want you to do at home, but I'm going to do some stress tests here live on camera. And uh, this is not rehearsed, so Jeremy might say, don't do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So here goes. No! So I'm going I'm to grab his servos here, his arm, and I'm going to hold it directly upside down. Like this. Wow. You can see me sweating right now. Wow. It, but it's great. So the old servos would be grinding and making noises. And you'll find that if you ever work with servos made by other manufacturers, they're going to be very loud and they're not going to like this, are they? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. So these are really strong. And I mean, you, there, there must be some secret sauce to making this happen. Oh, yeah. We put some time and effort into those. There it is. So I've heard you say that internally, in, inside of the servo, there's sensors that monitor the temperature and the current draw, mm -hmm. and that's what prevents them from burning out, So, which is why I can do this. For sure. Okay, now I'm going to go into, uh, into RoboScratch here. You can see this on, the, on this camera. And I'm going to load up the servos, and I'm going to move his shoulder joint. Which one am I doing? This one here. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, you're really putting it to the test here. You bet. Look at that. He's doing some upside down push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Just, and there's no heat being generated here. I don't feel any heat at all on these servos. Let me feel. Okay. Yep, nothing. That's fantastic. All right, so that's the new servos. Now, we should do a quick comparison, I guess, on the old servos. Sure, we'll turn okay. on JD here. All right, move him over here. We've got the new, or the old JD. This is the old previous servos. We'll connect to his Wi-Fi network. Okay, so here's the the old servos, and you can hear right away when I connected that grinding noise. Oh, mm -hmm. you can hear that. Yep. Boy, okay. I think that's one of his ankles. So if I do this, oh my gosh, I can even feel the vibration when I hold it like this, and I shouldn't do this for very long, should I? No, these, they're going to heat up right away. These servos are, are going to give out, and I'm not going to be able to do that test that I did with the... Is it okay if I test that to see... What the response is like? Probably not a good idea. I'm gonna do it. I oh! said we're gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab this guy and we're gonna hold him upside down and here we go. And it doesn't uh, make itself you... back up. That's as far as it can. Oh, oh it's struggling. Yeah, you know, I can already feel the heat generated inside of these old servos. So I'm gonna turn them off because that's definitely a lot of workout for, for this old servo. Okay, so the new servos, obviously, uh, they work in all of the Revolution robots. You're talking the six. Uh, JD, Rolly. Rolly, the developer kit as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can buy them by themselves. So I go to your lab a lot and I walk by and see what you're working on. And for two years, you've been working on these servos and you've been excited about them. And mm -hmm. every couple of weeks, you say you have some progress. And it's taken a lot of revisions. It has. It has, sorry. How yeah. many revisions have you gone through? Uh, let's just uh, show them how many revisions we've I would done. love to see, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Wow. Yeah, here's one box. One box. That's okay. Whoa! No, we're not done yet. <laughs> Holy! Here's two more. Wow. Okay. So let's turn it sideways so we can see, so everybody can see sure. on the camera here. That's how many. And, and it, obviously, some revisions would have two or three or five servos, right? But oh yeah, that is a lot of a servo. So over two years. Jeremy has been working on, on different revisions of uh, the servos to get the HDD servos just perfect. And like I said, we started shipping those April 1st, 2017. Well, Jer, I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with these servos. Good work. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs>
In this episode, we introduce the new HDD servos that Easy Robot has developed. HDD stands for Heavy Duty Digital, and you can find these servos in any of the Revolution robots and even in the developer's kit. Easy Robot has gone through lots of different revisions to bring you these new servos. Unlike the old servos, which were prone to heating up or making grinding sounds when under stress, these new servos have undergone lots of revisions so that they can withstand heavy-duty stress tests, they're quieter, and they even have sensors to monitor any heat or temperature changes inside. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. What does HDD stand for? What are the advantages of the HDD servos? Where can the HDD servos be used? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com